What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will discuss on God's enemies. <laughs> God also has enemies, right? Or he doesn't have. <laughs> no, we will not discuss about God's enemies because he has no enemy. But when you try to reach him, you will encounter some enemies. And I will tell you who are those. When I say enemies, I do not mean they are after your life. I simply mean to say that there are certain houses from which the ninth house, which is the house of spirituality, is not very well placed. That means whenever you take to some spiritual path, then you are activating the ninth house. And because the ninth house is not placed well from certain houses, like every other house, that is why you are bound to have some trouble from those houses. When I say those houses, I simply mean that people who represent those houses. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to Exotic Astrology. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then approach me in my email or in WhatsApp. Or if you have any questions, queries or comments, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you are interested in doing some donation for the sustenance of the channel, then you can go to PayPal. The link is there below and do some donation or else continue watching the video till the end. What do I mean by enemies here? Well, in astrology, sixth house is the house of enemies. But here we are not talking of the sixth house. We are talking of the three house, the three houses, the sixth house, eighth house and twelfth house who are all known as Dustana houses, which means for a materialistic person or a material worldview, these houses are nightmares. Because the 8th house and 12th house are very good for spirituality. I will explain them later. Because they are part of the Moksha houses. But if you talk on a mundane sense, for a person who is leading a normal materialistic life, it is a nightmare these two houses and sixth house is also very good for spirituality i will prove that to you also later but when i say enemies here i mean anybody who will give you trouble or who will obstruct you from going ahead in that path so when you activate the ninth house you are actually doing something spiritual only then that house gets activated otherwise it doesn't so now we have to see which are the houses that consider the ninth house as enemies or as an enemy because every house is placed badly from some other house for example from the second house the ninth house is placed eighth because if you count eight places from the second house you land up in the ninth house and if you count six places from the fourth house you land up in the ninth house again. And if you count 12 places from the 10th house, you land up in the ninth house. All right. Which means these three houses have a perception about the ninth house that it is not a very good house because it is not well placed from there. Which means that whenever you activate the ninth house, you will face obstruction, trouble and opposition from people referring referred by these houses which are the houses second house fourth house and the tenth house tenth house also all right now let us see one by one the first is the second house second house represents what well let's talk of the fourth house first or should we talk of the second house no second house first <laughs> First things first. And yes, before starting, God is there with you all the time. <laughs> Even when people from these three houses are obstructing your path, he is still there with you, remember. Now, who does the second house represent? Second house represents all of your combined resources. And when I say resources, here I mean people, family friends, relatives, everybody comes under the second house. Primarily they are your relatives but 
anybody who you value is the second house so you value everybody even your husband wife children everybody is the second house and your lineage everybody specifically they may have different houses fifth house seventh house ninth house but when i say second house all the people who are in your mundane life they are belonging to the second house which means whenever you try to go close to god it is highly likely that people around you who you know and who knows you they will give you obstruction you don't believe it try it <laughs> i have found it my god so many times time and again especially people in my family and relatives especially because in the year 2010 when i left eating meat because i came to know that the shrimad bhagavatam and scriptures they suggest they recommend that human life is not to indulge in sinful activities like eating meat because you are taking the life of a jivatma and bhagavatam says if you do not have right to give life you do not have right to take life now somebody will say about plants that is a debate for some other day not today <laughs> i am not in a mood to debate on veg versus non veg today at least i will do the debate some other times and any anyways actually there is nothing to debate but the moment i started that my god terrible opposition terrible obstruction terrible 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 <laughs> see your parents and your friends may appreciate you being religious going to the temple doing some puja doing some reading doing this but the moment you become serious they will start facing the pinch they will start to feel the pinch unless your mother father is or your relatives or your family or friends they are very much spiritually elevated they themselves are in the ninth house if they are not they will give you obstruction they will tell you do not do this stop it they will not like it because what happens is the ninth house is eighth from the second house eighth house is the house of death so what happens is they feel as if you have died for them or they feel as if they have died for you because they feel as if they don't exist in your life anymore because the ninth house is so powerful that when you elevate yourself spiritually your dependencies on the second house which is what food family wealth money relatives friends they will start to reduce and this will be noticed by them and the moment they notice this they will feel threatened which means you are advancing <laughs> which means you are progressing ahead because without that this will not happen that means when you go ahead in your spiritual journey if your second house people which means the people with whom you stay whom you associate if they are not very strong spiritually which is very likely because most of the people are not then they will give you obstruction they will try to pull you down they will try to discourage you they will try to hinder your progress they may do things which you do not like but do not give in to them do not let them be convinced that they have won the battle never ever ever do it be fixed continue doing what you are doing and once later they will respect you all right this will need some time even mahatma gandhi said first they will ridicule you then they will ignore you and then they follow you this is not exactly what he said but that's what he meant first step is the moment you take some strong decision for example like i took not to eat meat that was a very strong decision for me and for other people it's been 7 years so they felt that it is very it's very strong decision how can you take it <laughs> you cannot do this well i have done it <laughs> that means that we have to be careful otherwise if we start hearing what they have to say then we may leave what we, we just started yes and then we will not be in the ninth house anymore which means 
we are away from bhagya because ninth house is the house of bhagya and what is the ultimate definition of bhagya ultimate definition of bhagya is one who is connected to god because he will be protected at all times now let's see who which is the other house which is badly seeing the ninth house it is the fourth house yes fourth house is the house of home when i say house the house of home here i do not mean your mother or your family because they already come in the second house okay but when i say fourth house i mean your luxury and your desire to just sit and relax and do nothing that is the biggest obstacle because see the this is how it fits fourth house is the house of aram yes aram because in hindi sleep means you say na main aram kar raha hu i am taking rest aram and ninth house is the house of god is the house of ram <laughs> that means if you want ram you cannot be there in aram see ram and aram the word a is there which is negation see if you are staying in the fourth house then you will not get ram i'm sorry <laughs> which means you have to break from your comfort zone you have to get up in the morning and do your spiritual sadhana otherwise you will not advance all right who are the remaining people <laughs> it is the 10th house 10th house doesn't give much obstruction because it is 12th major troubles are from the 6th and the 8th house but the 10th 10th house also because the 9th house is 12th from it because of which people at your workplace may ridicule you that you are becoming too much spiritual this is not going to get you anywhere you are not a celibate you are not a sadhu you are not a monk <laughs> you should not become that much spiritual these are the things they will tell you at your workplace especially but what should you do listen from this side and throw it out from this side there you go <laughs> and also why the 10th house is not seeing the 9th house in a good way because if you become too much obsessed about ego because sun and mars gets directional strength in the 10th house which is known as dikbala about which i have not yet discussed which i will discuss in the near future dikbala means they are very strong there and what are sun mars represent they represent fire which is what ego status name fame so when a person is too much caught up in this he cannot take the shelter of god because then he wants a separate identity for himself away from god <laughs> which cannot happen which if it happens he is not in the ninth house this does not mean that you cannot be in the 10th house there are examples of great kings like yudhishthir maharaj maharaj nimi maharaj ugrasen so many countless examples in the scriptures maharaj dasharath they were the best of the best of the best of the most renowned kings but internally they were detached that means you may be the king of the universe like yudhishthira maharaj was the emperor of entire india after the war of kurukshetra ended but he was not a tinge attached because the moment he heard that lord krishna has left he also went to the forest not forest he went to the himalayas which means he took sanyas which is like going to the forest there you go 10th <laughs> house 4th house and 2nd house and next time when any of these people tell you something why are you doing this this it is good to be spiritual but it's not good to be too much spiritual it is not good actually basically they are telling you that we are living like animals and it is okay you also should live like an animal because that's what science says right human being is an animal and even that's the same thing which bhagavatam says if a person does not have god consciousness he is not inquisitive about god then he is a two legged animal <laughs> so that's what is the meaning when these people tell you your family or friends or anybody 
I am not telling that you disrespect them. But when they are trying to pull you down, when they are discouraging you, for example, there's a one of my friend, she, uh, she was born in Assam and she is planning to give up meat now. Give up eating meat for the whole life. Not a trial. That's it. End. But then now her family is posing too much obstruction. Too much. Too much. Too much. And now every day the mother is ensuring that she eats meat. She will force her to eat meat. But then this girl, she is also fighting with her determination. Of course, I have told her that you continue eating now. Do not make a scene. Don't make a show out of there. Till the time you are there in your home. If you cannot resist it completely, be as they want you to be. But anyways, after one year, she's not going to stay there. So she will be relieved. <laughs> relieved does not mean that she will be happy when she leaves her home. But at least she will have a better prospect of practicing her spiritual life. Okay, that is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries, comments, let me know. Or if you know anybody who has struggled for, to go ahead in spiritual life from his family, friends, colleagues, <laughs> Then let me know in the comment section or else until next time. Bye-bye. See you.